Hello there. Oh, what a beautiful baby. It's quite a pretty cottage, isn't it? A little neglected, perhaps. Go closer and you can see that the yellow paint is peeling from the door. Closer still, it looks dark inside. An old person's house. An unloved house. You shivered. <laughs> There's no heat in the sun, is there, this time of year. But I do love the Cotswolds. And I can see you appreciate the potential. Room for a swing. Even the sandpit, like the one you used to have. Why don't you knock on the door? It's run down. Perhaps the owner would like to sell. Why hesitate? Don't you think it looks like a house that needs a family in it? What do you think of our new house, then? Is it the best house ever? Uh, up you come, then, precious. Eh? Look over there. See the horses? And there's the river. Better than a smelly old car park. Mama. <laughs> Funny old thing. Why can't you say mummy like other babies? Mummy? Mummy? Mama. <laughs> In you go now. Cuddle an elephant and try and get some sleep. I'll just plug everything in so I can hear you downstairs. Night, night, beautiful. We're going to be so happy here. What do you want? I'll tell you where we are. We're somewhere you won't ever find us. This is Laser. He's <laughs> pleased to be back home, aren't you, boy? Thanks for looking after him. Uh, no problem. Uh, how is Mr Hewitt? Uh, not good. He's in a coma. I'm sorry to hear that. It's not like I know him, really. I haven't seen him since I was two. <laughs> Feels a, a bit strange, though, moving into his house while he's still... A, uh, while he's in hospital. Mm. But uh, someone had to look after Laser, didn't they, boy? <laughs> yeah, we were wondering who might turn up. No one could remember seeing him with any relatives. Um, we heard he was leaving it to a young family. I've got a little boy. He's asleep. Oh, right. And um, will his dad be coming along later? He hasn't got a dad. Just me. Is that all right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, there should be some dog food left in the kitchen. Right. Uh, look, here's my number. Just in case you uh, want to know something. Like... When the bin men come, or where you can get a decent drink. Anything. I'd better go. Uh, thanks for having the dog. Yeah, I'll uh, leave it here, the number then. <laughs> See you around then, Chrissy. Yeah, you've got my great uncle on the ward. Will you hear it? I wondered when I could visit. <laughs> I'd still like to see him. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks. <laughs> All right, lovely. Let's get in the warm. Laser! Laser! What's up with you? Not in the desk. I'm taking the toys. His dad will be here soon. <laughs> See what he'll have to say about all this. Things will be different. Andrew, it's Chrissy Hewitt. Hi. Oh, it's really nice of you to come. They're in Jack's room. I can hear them through the monitor. Oh, okay. There was a band playing. You hear dancing. <laughs> this is what you've been hearing. What's funny? If I hadn't left oh, it on, I wouldn't have known you were up there. No, because they wouldn't have been. There's Your baby monitor's picking up someone else's conversation. There'll be another one nearby using the same frequency. Look, you can switch the channels if you need to. This switch, here. <laughs> my, uh, my sisters used to do it. You'll need to change the one at the other end, too. Yeah, it sounds weird, I know, but it's just radio waves. <laughs> Chrissy? I, I thought it... Oh. Hey, hey, it's all right. There's no one here. No one except us.
Here's to dodgy baby monitors. No. <laughs> if it hadn't been picking up the wrong signal, you wouldn't have got scared. No, and... I don't know about scared. Not really. <laughs> and you wouldn't have called me back and we wouldn't be here now. What? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Thanks for bringing the wine. Mm. I was planning to get some work done. Oh, no problem. Just tell me what you want me to do. Oh, I thought I would clear out this cupboard, make room for some of Jack's stuff. Uh, There's lots of space. Oh, God, it doesn't look like it's ever been cleaned. Oh, toy soldiers. Oh, they're really old. Oh, wow, yeah. Mm. Genuine wartime ones, I think. Uh, they were wood, because all the tin was used for munitions. Hey, Jack. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> all dead. <laughs> Each one's unique. Invalided soldiers used to carve them sometimes, or prisoners of war. <laughs> the detail's fantastic. But they're covered in lead paint. How oh, can you put them in that desk? It's empty. Yeah. They're dirty, Jack. Not a bad bit of wood, this. There's something at the back. Ah. It's an old notebook. Look. Huh. There's some kind of box at the back, too, if I can reach it. Punishment book? Oh, William is stupid. Pages of it. Who'd make a child write something like that? Oh, why would you keep it? I must obey my mother. Oh, I can't disagree with that one. <laughs> Different writing. William will scrub the floors until I tell him to stop. William will stand in the corner during dinner and will not eat. I wonder what he did to get that poor kid. Oh, he's done some tiny drawings in the back. A woman with a baby. The baby's crossed out, look. Must have been jealous of my grandpa. Mm. Perhaps that's why they didn't speak. Mm. Oh. Wow. It's a, a music box. There's a letter in it addressed to Jesus. Not sure you're qualified to open that one. I'll give it here. <laughs> Dear Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for bringing Daddy home from the war. Oh, he's done a picture. That must be my great granddad. Hmm. I'll keep that. Oh, he's written another one on the back in mm. tiny letters around the edge. Uh, dear Jesus, you said suffer the little children, but, but not, not because you want us to suffer, but because you love us all. Please, please make me into a good boy. Scrub away my sins so Mummy won't punish me no, no more. more. And so that and she so will that stop she hurting me. Stop. That's horrible. Give us the bin. Uh, I want to get all of this out of here. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice box, though. Huh. <sighs> Uncle William chose me to have this house because he wanted it to go to a young family. In spite of everything that happened here, mm. he wanted to give someone else what he'd never had. A happy childhood. I wish I'd known him before he was ill. Mm. It makes me even more determined that Jack and I are going to enjoy living here. Replace all that misery with happy memories. <laughs> Jack's fallen asleep. And you've got a smudge of dirt right across your nose. Have I? Where? Just here. Oh. I've been wanting to do that ever since I first saw you. And this. That's nice. Uh, I, I thought you invited me for lunch. Uh, there's some cheese and a packet of salt and vinegar. <laughs> well, come on then, look, I'll bring the wine. Uh, you can find some music. Oh, have you got the monitor? Oh, uh, yeah. He doesn't love me anymore. It's all your fault. No, it wasn't. His pulse is still quite weak, but he's rallied a bit since he rang. Not that that means a great deal at this stage. He could go at any time. Does he know we're here? No. He's not conscious of anything. Some people find it strange that patients blink when they can't see, but it's an automatic reaction, that's all. Mm. He can't see or hear anything. Mm. Once they're in a coma, it's normally... Well, let's just say I'm surprised he's still with us. Must be a fighter. Before he went into the coma, he kept rambling on about plans being in place, plans for going home. Mm -hmm. We thought he was confused, the poor soul, that he didn't know how ill he was. 
but it must have been his way of talking about the afterlife. They often do that in the end, even the most unlikely ones. Still, he's obviously not in a rush. He's hanging on in there. You can hold his hand if you like, but he won't feel it. I'll leave you with him. Thanks. It's all right, sweetheart. He's just peacefully asleep. Look, I'll stroke his hand like I do when you go to sleep sometimes. You can touch him if you like. Um, Uncle William, I, I know you can't actually hear me, but if you're there somewhere, I just want you to know that we understand. All those bad memories you had at the house. I'll make sure Jack's childhood there is full of happy memories. And it, it's you will... <gasps> made a grab for Jack. His hand shot right out. There's no change. I'm sorry. I thought I'd explain. People in comas move sometimes. It's electrical impulses from his brain, but that's all. It can be disconcerting, but it doesn't mean a thing. I'm sorry. I thought somehow Jack had got through to him. It's no. <laughs> One minute he was totally still, like he was dead, and then the next he suddenly sits up and sticks his arm out like some old horror movie. <laughs> I bet that was scary. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't as funny as it seems now. Hey, Jack, do you think our snowman needs a nose? Do you want to put it on? Mummy will help. Why don't you take him? Oh. Uh, OK. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Where should we put his nose? Yeah, that's right. Shall I help you push it in? Oh. Well done, Jack. Back you come now. Oof. It's time for a sleep. I thought we could get some lunch at the pub. Oh, I'd better get him back. He needs his nap. Bye, Andrew. Oh. OK. Bye, then. All right. Oh, you're getting too heavy to be carried. Baba. Laser. Try. Mummy. Mummy. No. Oh? And you want to dance? Oh. <laughs> Go on. Oh. Ever since you got home, you've been... You don't want to do anything anymore. Well, what's going on now? You all right, love? Of course you are. I'm being stupid. Someone somewhere must be watching telly. Night, night, beautiful. <sighs> That's your last bit of my dinner, Laser. You've had yours. Mummy. Mm. Mm. Oh. Easy to tell you're not Jack. You stinky, disgusting mm. boy. You did that on purpose. You can lie in it. Oh. No. That means the rest of us have to put up with the smell. You stole my childhood. Not very nice, is it, Billy? What? I'm taking it back. Does it taste nice to you? Oh. Perhaps the snow will clean you up a bit. I'll take you to the swings and you can stay all night. Oh, what fun you'll have. I'll report you missing in the morning and I'll be rid of you forever. Though I'll cry very convincingly when they find you. Andrew? <sighs> Sorry to disturb you. I just need to know what house the monitor's picking up sounds from. You said it would be somewhere nearby. It matters because they're threatening their own baby. Yes, I'm sure, and it's not the telly. I think she's talking about the playground. Can't you tell from the radio signal or something? Oh, fine. I I'll go myself then. Well, I'll have to lock him in, won't I? I'm not taking him out there. A boy should have proper toys. At least you're all right. How could anyone even think? Jack? Jack! He 
was chewing on one of those soldiers. I mean, God knows what's in that paint. And he could have choked. But he didn't, did he? And they're on top of the kitchen cupboard now, so he's safe. I was out for ten minutes, Max. All the windows are shut. Unless someone was here while we were in the house. Oh, God, I opened the back door earlier to let Laser out. No wonder he was making all that fuss. Maybe giving Jack the soldiers was a warning. Calm down. Why would anyone do that? Oh, I don't know. I... I should have told you. Franklin, Jack's dad. Ah. Uh. He doesn't care about Jack. He just likes to control people. If he got Jack, he could control me. And how do I fit into all this? What do you mean? Uh, extra security, am I? Protect you from some bloke you weren't even going to tell me about because I come running every time you call. No. No, it's not like that at all. Really? I mean, I'm out with my mates and suddenly there's mysterious threats on the monitor. Then someone's given Jack a dangerous toy. I mean, you talk about controlling... Andrew! I can't be here all the time. Did I ask you to? Because I don't remember that. Go on. Go on back to the pub. I don't expect help from anyone. I just like you. you. I'm sorry, Chrissy, but I've got friends waiting for me. Yeah, so why would you want a girlfriend with... With baggage. Oh, you've got a child to consider. Maybe I'm just not ready for that. Is that what you wanted, you little oh. bastard? You spoiled everything. Stolen years. He looked at you. Shut up. I'm taking them back. He knew. He always knew. Mummy. Oh. Coming. <sighs> you all right, love? I want to dance all night. What? I'm coming back. I won't be silenced anymore. Oh, yes, you will. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, love. Go back to sleep. other warm. Yeah, lots of snow. Laser? Laser, come back! It's all right, love. He'll find his way home. Dogs can do that. Shh, Jack. Who is it? Is someone there? Yes. Yes, can you help us? Laser? What are you doing out in this terrible weather? Good God, is that a child with you? We need to get to the White Friar. We're lost. I should think you are. You're on the green, heading the wrong way. I'll walk back to the road with you. Come on, Mackenzie. This is no night to take a baby outside. He could catch his death. He's fine. This way. No torch. I'm not surprised you got lost in this. I was mad to go out myself, though I'm glad I did now. Well, it's hard to tell, but you're back on the road. Oh, but this you're is... You're the ones who moved into the old Hewitt house, aren't you? Well, you're nearly there. I'll walk you back. Oh, but we need to get to the... I won't ask you why you were trying to get to the pub at this time of night. You might ask me what I was thinking of taking the dog out. We can't go back in there. You can't not go back. You need to get this child inside. Is there someone in there you're frightened of? Because... No, not a person. Then Something. here you are. Uh, my name's Chrissy, Mr... Brand, Adrian. It's not the weather for long introductions. You're home now. The house is haunted. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I don't know who's been telling you this nonsense, but I've lived here nearly 15 years and I've never heard anyone say that. There's probably strange noises. It's an old house. Noises can't hurt you, but hypothermia can. His lips are turning blue. Now go inside. Uh, please, will you come in for a Good drink? night! Adrian! Okay, Jack. You'll soon be warm. Lie down, laser. 
we're all staying down here together and we're going to stay calm we'll make a special bed with these cushions sweetheart. You'll soon be warm. Do you remember when you were tiny and we had that sling? Wherever I went, you were strapped in front of me, where you could feel my heart beat. Just you and me. Guess that's the way it's going to be from now on. That's better. Try and sleep now, love. It's all right. It's all right, love. Uh, there are candles somewhere. Ow! Oh. Um. Uh. There they are. It's pretty, isn't it? We should have them more often. And uh, at Christmas, we'll have a, a real fire and hang our stockings over it. Yes? Who is it? I am his next of kin. Oh. Did he come round before he died? Did he say anything? I see. Oh, thanks for letting me know. Goodbye. Shush, Lazy, you're giving me the creeps. Oh, Jack, how can you sleep through all of this? You're still freezing. Cuddle up now, Jack, eh? Jack? Oh my god. Wake up, Jack. Jack? Ambulance. Come quick. My child stopped breathing. Uh, it's it's Wyvern and Pearson's Lane, the cottage at the end. Just come now, please. Uh, nothing happened. One minute he was fine. Okay. Okay, how many? Yes, I've got that, but you'll come. Chin up, eyes to the ceiling. Oh, no breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, Chuck, come on, please. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Dog, stop licking him. You've got to stay warm and awake until the ambulance comes. I'll have to buy a bigger sling because I'm never going to want to put you down ever again. The kids at school will laugh at you, but that's just tough. Oh, Jack, you need to stay awake now. I'll tell you a story. Would you like that, beautiful? was in the hall. What's happening, Chrissy? Why is there an ambulance coming? Uncle William died. Hello? In here. What's going on? We had an urgent call about a child. Is this a child who wasn't breathing? He's gone. Look, her uncle's just died. She was like this when I got here. Are you the father? No. We were told a child was seriously hurt. Is there another child here? No, Jack's the only one. What happened to Jack, Chrissy? Oh, he's gone. He looks all right now, eh, Jack? That's not Jack. 
That's not the child who stopped breathing. That's not my son. I, I think she's had a bit of a shock. Mummy. Yeah, that's all right, Jack. Mummy's resting. She's holding a baby monitor. Is there a child in another room? No, there's only Jack. I'll check through here. Uh, hold him still. I'm going to listen to his chest. All right, son. It'll be a bit cold. There's your nice elephant to play with. Oh, <laughs> suit yourself. He's fine. Well, there's no one else here. Are you staying with him? Well... Y yes, yes, I am. Then make sure his GP checks him over in a day or two. Mm -hmm. We'll be off. Uh, look, thanks for coming. Chrissy, I know you're mad at me. I, I came round to say sorry. I, I was acting like a kid. I'm not mad at you. Look, you've had a bad time, but I know you'd give up anything to keep Jack safe and happy. Andrew! No, listen, let me finish. Jack's a great kid, and if he needs a lot of attention, then fine, I can help with that. I, I want to be with you, Chrissy, whatever it takes. Listen... You need time to recover. Get over your uncle's death, whatever made you act... stressed. So, listen, Jack and I are going to look after you. Hmm? Come on. Let's make Mummy a nice cup of tea, hmm? Come on. Jack! Jack, is that you? Ah, poor woman. But there's no reason to think you couldn't be happy here. I know she's waiting for just the right buyer to come along, and I'm sure you'd get it for a bargain price. The owner specifically wants it to go to a young family, you see. Give a child a new start in life. I'll leave you to think about it. Shall I? <laughs> In Uncle William's House by Alison Falconer, Chrissy was played by Anne-Marie Piazza and Andrew by Henry DeVas. Uncle William was played by Sean Baker and Ivy by Sally Oruk. Adrian was played by Tony Bell and The Nurse by Delia Mir. Mark Gatiss was the man in black. Uncle William's House was directed by Fiona Kelcher.